Well, we're working on mental health, mental strength, and mental focus. And so we're back on that with properly practicing inversions and integrating, I like that word, complementing, right? Complementary integrating into our daily practice off the mat. So these techniques and tutorials are a great way to build your inner strength, but focusing with the breath as the vehicle for moving the body, the mind in harmony together. So again, some of you that aren't quite here in this practice, make sure you use the wall or try to wait for your teachers that are you know, helping you through your journey to kind of turn you on to that. Otherwise, those of you that are practicing, again, this is not easy, it's quite challenging, and your arms might feel like burning, your biceps, your triceps, and so you just have to be patient to engage through your breath, all right? So we're gonna work on a tripod, and we're gonna take it side by side, turning into our obliques and our side rib cage, and moving through, again, an inversion balance of focus, breath, and meditation. So we're gonna come into the floor, and let me just see if I can turn this a little bit so we can make sure we have a full image of the legs when they're coming down. Remembering again that you might have to box your arms here as you're coming down to the floor. Again, creating your space and squeezing your inner thighs as you're coming up. Really steadying the mind as you're breathing. And what we're going to do first, we're going to take a go ahead and pivot to the right. Stay steady. We're not turning the neck, just turning the hips. And again, the rib cage, the side of the leaks, and the chest. Beautiful. Stay steady again as you inhale. Exhale. Inhale. I am bending my right elbow or left elbow as I'm turning right or left. So now we're going to use a position that we use like in Kona and Yasana, the flying pigeon. You want to squeeze your thighs, your glutes, all steady. You want to turn a little bit as you're guiding the legs down to your side. Don't touch the floor. And then come up. Center the body. Inhale. Exhale. And then again, come up. Turn the hips. And again. And stretch it back up. Turn the hips again. Careful. Focus on your breath. Exhale. So you're steady. One more. Turn the hips. Slow it down. Beautiful. Inhale, turn the hips, and the toe. Ooh, child's pose, coming down slowly. Keep your head down, relax your arms forward, and just stretch away for a moment. Relaxing, breathing. And beginning again. <laughs> so that's one technique. Now we're going to kind of bend the knees, right? And we're going to see if we can dip more again towards the right and bending the knees and dipping more towards the left. And yes, your biceps and triceps are gaining some muscle strength and great bone structure, of course, you know, for the elbow and the wrist, so I don't really put a lot of pressure on my hand. It's almost like a little dome. That's right under my wrist. My knuckles, my phalanges, my knuckle bones of all my fingers are sticky on the mat, just like bending, squeezing something, really putting a lot of weight and energy, distributing that away from the wrist and placing it more on the hand energy. All right, so here we are. I'm going to come back down. Setting it up. 
And this time, we're going to go ahead and take the knee to a side knee bend over to the right elbows and to the left side. So as we draw up the tailbone again, keeping the neck engaged. Straight toes in the sky. Breathing. I'm going to twist and I'm going to kind of bend like I'm going to tap my elbow and then center and then release. I'm going to twist again. I'm bending my knees towards my left elbow. Center and then release. And again, twisting and again, sitting a little longer. Rise up and release. Again, twisting, sitting onto the elbows. And then again, rise up and release. Lower down, gently floating. Child's pose, hands in the front. And rest for a moment. We're going to put it together to a flying pigeon A and B. Kama Vinyasana. Some of you might need to bend your knees. Some of you might be able to do it through. And we'll see what happens. Hmm. If you don't make it through right away, it's okay. Because guess what? It's a lifelong practice. Just gotta show up and keep trying. Just like I am. <laughs> I've fallen many times, but I've gotten up many times. <laughs> so here we go. Um, this is it. We're going to take it into a flying pigeon A and B. And I'm going to put it together because the actual practice goes from A, right side, left side, then stay up, B, right side, left side, and then you take a chaturanga if you still have the energy. This is in you. <laughs> so here we are. Let's go ahead and come on to the top of the mat. Smile through the crosses of my brace. <laughs> so inhale, take the tailbone up. We're going to go ahead and begin our beautiful pranayama ujjayi. Lifting us up. We're going to take that beautiful twist of our hips here. Keeping the neck steady. As your heels draw over, careful, smiling, and then release, straight leg comes back up to the top. Good. 